What's good, YouTube? It's Chuka the Barber. I'm back with another video. Today, I got my man Alicia on the chair. We're gonna hook him up with a low fade. Keep the natural curls on the top, but before we get started, I'm gonna hit him with the Pro Rich shampoo and conditioner. Make sure I got a clean canvas before I get started. And it also just helps heal the scalp, promote healthy hair growth, and make sure that everything is nice and soft, conditioned, ready for me to work with. All right, so it's part of the Rich Barber experience, so I give it to all of my clients. We're gonna hit them with the curl twist sponge or twist uh, racket. I don't know what you call this thing. <laughs> when I'm doing a haircut like this, I like the top to be pretty much how it's gonna be at the finished cut, right? I'm grabbing my pick and I'm just picking it out slightly, right? Not pulling out the curls because I, I want that look. But I just want to create that volume so I use the pick to dig underneath the curls and kind of pull them up a little bit I'm working with the wall detailers as you can see and I'm gonna create my C cups and then create my first initial guideline and I'm gonna keep it real low and drop it in the back because like I said it's a low fade make sure we keep that initial guideline as low as possible go ahead and wrap it around and do the same thing on the other side now what I'm doing is I'm taking the clipper and I'm using the wall magic clips and I am pulling down using the blade as a comb to pull down and at the same time trim the front hairline a little bit so I could get a clean lineup a controlled lineup now we're gonna give them a quick lineup um, starting off as always from the corners hitting the sides and just matching it up with the other side um, lining them up before I get started with the fade allows me to gauge where my fade is at how high I'm taking it or how low I'm keeping it so um, I use them as like markers right to gauge the fade so um, I always like to line up people before I even start fading especially when it's like a low fade mid fade you know you're not trying to take it too high each new guideline I create I'm taking it slightly up a little bit I'm not I'm not going too high with each adjustment because I'm trying to keep this fade low and tight Lever all the way open, close to it, and now I'm taking that guideline up a little bit. You see how the blend, the transition is real short, real tight. And that's very important when you're doing a low fade and you're keeping it tight. Like it's just very important to really take your time with it. So Alicio actually, um, so this is my first time cutting him. And um, you know, we had a great conversation. We talked about a lot of things, right? And um, you know, he, he does multiple things. He's a trainer, actor, you know, um, model. Used to play football, you know, back in the day before he moved out to L.A. and started his, like, uh, training career as, a, uh, as, like, a weightlifting or athletic trainer or gym trainer. And then, uh, you know, branched off into doing other things like acting, modeling, you know, one eighth part on. And taking my time with the blend, keeping it low, making sure I get a nice transition. And it's, you know, like I said, it's so important to take your time because this is my first time cutting it. I gotta see how the hair reacts to the clippers, how it, how it moves, reacts to the blend, like all these things I'm learning, you know, on the go. So, you know, you gotta be real conscious, you know, the first time you're cutting somebody. You gotta be real conscious of everything that you're doing. You can't really, you know, just run on autopilot. Like you got your systematic cutting system, of course, right? Or cutting method, like you have a system that you follow each time you cut, but, you know, you got to be real present and, and watch how everything reacts to, um, you know, each stroke and, and how the hairs lay and the direction they're growing. So you got to be real present. You can't really, you can't be on autopilot. You know, after you cut them a few times, you, you know, you know the hair, you understand it, you know how it reacts. Then it's more autopilot, right? But, you know, it's so important, especially when you're learning. I mean, if you're just now learning, like, you got to be conscious of everything that you're doing and everything that's happening with like each stroke. I mean, you gotta really pay close attention. And I, I know for a lot of times, like if I'm, if I'm helping somebody, if I'm trying to teach somebody how to cut, you know, one of the main things that I'm just trying to get through to them is, is it has not so much to do with the cut, it just has to do with like how conscious they are while they're cutting. And then also, you know, what are they able to see? Now we're blending the other side and um, same thing, you know, taking my time, keeping it low, making sure I complete each step before I move on to the next. It's important to uh, recognize that too, because usually when 
you start, you know, jumping around and just blending all over the place based on whatever your eyeball is catching, you know, then you're most likely cutting on autopilot. I mean, you're not in control, you know what I mean? And so you want to rely on your systematic cutting method as much as possible and be conscious while you're doing it. I mean, you're sticking with your process. I think that is basically what separates great barbers from good barbers, right? Um, is that ability to know when you can be on autopilot and when you got to be very conscious of what you're doing. And over time, you'll be able to, when you master that, right? you'll be able to cut a lot faster than most people by developing that ability. Currently using the 1 16th guard on, blending that out. Now I got the 1 8th guard on, taking it up a little bit more. Starting with the lever open and then closing it as I work my way down. You see the blend coming together, now we're gonna just wrap the fade around on each side and make sure the, blend, the back is blended into each other. Making sure the fade is consistent. See how tight and short the fade is? But at the same time, it, it still pops. Still has a good transition. Last little detail work on the blend. You can see how the hair is very, the hair is very controlled like on the bottom of the fade, but then once you get around the temple, you can see that the hair kind of starts to get a little curl to it, you know, a little wave to it, and then it goes into the top and it's fully curled. So that was the goal, that's what I was trying to do. Some razor work. You see how the lineup looks? You can see, remember I used the clipper, uh, like dragging comb method where I, Use the blade as like a comb and drag it down to remove and trim the hairline area. And you can see how, how I'm able to get that clean line up without, you know, really going all the way up into the thickness of the hair. Now I'm going to hit him with the shaver to get it all the way clean. Um, I asked him if this would irritate him, if this was fine, he was cool with it. So um, anytime I'm cutting somebody with coarse hair, I'm on. I'm always checking before I put this on them. Now I'm gonna take the Enhanced Pro Barber Kit 2. And right here I got the dark brown fibers, clear application card. And I'm gonna apply some fibers around this hairline area. Fill it in. So you can apply hold spray before, after. Um, often I do a little bit before, which you didn't see in the video. And then I add the fibers and then I do a little bit afterwards. Applying the whole spray before the fibers allows the fibers to stick easily to the hair. And then applying the fibers afterwards just allows just to get the extra hold in there. All right, then afterwards I'm gonna line it up. And that's the final look. Check it out. Great, man. I didn't really um, cut the top. I didn't really trim this so that we can keep that low fade. Yeah. Keep it dark right there. Yeah. Look like a new man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Great. YouTube, what's up? Shoot for the barber here. I want to thank all y'all that's been rocking with me since day one. Currently at 197,000 subscribers. I'm trying to push that thing all the way up to 200. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I got videos dropping every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from now on. So come tap in, rock with me. I'm going to take it to a whole nother level.